What's going on guys? This is Simon from SG and in today's video we are going to go over how to add the gifting option to your subscription products on your WooCommerce store. So with the holidays that just came up, people may have asked about your WooCommerce store, you know, do you have a gift option or can I gift, you know, this product to someone else? So in this video we are going to be going over how to add, you know, an option for, you know, a current customer or maybe you know, not even a current customer, but someone that likes your product to be able to purchase a subscription on, um, you know, their family or their friends or their significant other's behalf. So let's say, you know, you have uh, Jane Doe and she knows that John Doe loves um, Charlie's coffee. She could purchase the subscription for John and then she would be able to see John's subscription and also could only be able to see, you know, the, the, the payment method. So really it's called gifting for WooCommerce subscriptions and let's jump into it. So before you install this plugin on your WooCommerce site, just know that you need to have WooCommerce subscriptions installed and activated. Um, you can't use this without WooCommerce subscriptions. Okay, let's jump into it. So I already purchased this plugin before, but you can find the links in the description box below. So I'm gonna go to my WooCommerce store and I'm gonna click plugins add new and I'm going to upload WooCommerce subscriptions gifting, the plugin zip file, and I'm gonna click install now. I can see that it, it adds this gift, right? This, this is a gift option right here. It adds that. So this will be on the, the product page, the cart page, and the checkout page. I can go to the settings, and the only settings they add is, you know, you have the option to change the gifting checkbox text right so this this is a gift text right here you have the option to change that okay so these are the settings and now if i go through like a test transaction and if i say hey i want to you know purchase this for you know someone they they've mentioned that they love coffee and i want to purchase this for john doe i'm jane doe right so i can say this is a gift and i can add in um john doe's you know email address right I can go through the checkout this way and I can see that, you know, it shows me this is a gift in the cart page as well. And as I'm going through this checkout process, I can add everything in. And when I click sign up, what's going to happen is um, that, that, that test email, test11 at sgwebpartners.com, that is a test email and that is for John Doe, okay? And if I go to my email and I check my email, I can see that, you know, the, the person, if I am John Doe, and let's say that Simon Tester right here is Jane Doe, I would be able to see that someone has purchased a subscription on my behalf. And I can also um, see that they created, you know, um, I don't have an account there yet, and they created an account for me, right? So right here, I'm getting a, a test email right now, but I can see that um, if I was John Doe, I can see that someone you know, is asking me to create a password and gave me a username. And now if I just add and I, and I create my account, I can see that if I log back in, when I sign in and create my account, it's actually gonna ask me for a few more details. So this is new and this is unique to gifting for WooCommerce subscriptions is actually when the person you know, is creating their account, it's gonna ask for their, just their shipping address because they need to know where to ship it, right? So if I fill this in and I said I'm John Doe, cool, so I'm gonna save this, okay? And now when I click my subscription, right, I'm John, remember? I only can see the product I have on subscription and I can see who purchased it for me. The, do you guys notice I can't see the, how much the subscription costs? So in this case, the subscription was $10 a month, but I can't see that. So this is nice if you wanna you know, gift someone a subscription, but you don't wanna necessarily have them know how much you paid for it if, whatever, if you don't want that to happen. So that's that's kinda cool. And just to clarify what, you know, Jane Doe, and this is Simon Tester, and, um, I purchased this for John, right? Jane purchased it for John. I know it's kind of a con confusing scenario, but if I come back to, you know, my account here 
and I am am Jane Doe, and I look at my subscriptions, and if I view this, I actually can see that, okay, I have an active subscription, and it's for John Doe, and I can actually see the price, okay? And it's gonna say, hey, I purchased that for John Doe, that's that test 11 sgwebbartis.com example that we're seeing on this page. And the last thing I wanna say is, before we go, if you go back to this subscriptions tab, you will be able to look at the subscriptions tab and you will be able to see the recipient right here. And that is for John Doe and me, I am Jane Doe. Okay, that's it for today, guys. If you got value out of this video, smash the like button, hit the subscribe and see you guys next time.